Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel, Express Your Data. In today's video, we are going to talk about the interview questions that were asked in CGI. So this video is a little interesting because another you know, the questions that were asked were little new when compared to the previous questions that were that we were getting in different companies. So pay attention and let us get started. And before we do that, let us thank a subscriber who has shared us this this questions and his experience so that you know it can be of help to others who are watching. Okay, so I encourage every one of you to please share your questions and scenarios so that you know we can we can build a, a stronger community and help those who are planning to attend. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So to start off with, like you say, the first question was what is initial SQL? Okay, now those who are, are working on you know custom SQLs or those who are aware of how to connect with a database, they might have seen what is this initial sql or they might know what is custom sql now to show you where is actually this initial sql or what is this uh, initial sql i'm going to connect it to a database here to show you okay and i'm just clicking on this click on add database and i'm going to connect it to a database here and my sql server now when i connect that you know we get this pop-up where it will ask us to enter the server name so right next to that, if you see, there is an option called as initial SQL. Okay. So here you are passing some values to Tableau, which means technically before your actual query is, you know, executed, this will, uh, it will take values from this, like say name itself will tell initial. So generally in real time, it will be to pass your environment variables. Like say you want to assign some, you know, designated, uh, path information like to which schema to which uh, a directory they all belong to then you know that we can specify here and at query level we can directly hard code the standard query and here we'll be passing those variables so that just we if we change the details from here it will directly point it to the respect to environments so that was one you know use case that we can talk about in interview now once you connect this so it is uh regular process from there just click on this if you are writing anything just write it here and then click on general and then we will sign in and then we will take this custom sql and execute it okay now if there are any values that it needs to take it will take it from our initial sql but here like say for example i'm just writing select star from emp or rather you know i'll take uh, emp and simply drop it Okay, and I can even convert this into custom SQL. Now, this is how our query is being generated. Now, if you see here, uh, there is certain path here, you know, from this DBO dot EMP dot EMP, somewhere it is coming the DBO. So this is a static path, right? So if at all you want this to be dynamic and you want this to be take from somewhere, then at initial SQL level, we can pass values here. So that next time when it connects, it will directly connect to that part and get this table information from there so that is how it will work and that is also the difference between your initial sql and custom sql so first initial sql will get executed take it will take the value and pass it on to custom sql and when custom sql will get executed it, it will see if there are any temporary values that it needs to take or if there are any variables that it needs to take and this will get executed so that is what is in the first question and the second question so i hope you are very clear about this very interesting question and just please remember about this so generally you know if it if you have worked on real time you will answer this without any issues but all see majority you know uh, of the students are currently practicing with the text file and all so they might not be aware of all of this so just you know learn about that now next question is have you used python with tableau if yes then how can you integrate here what i what i'm suggesting is you know maybe using python with a tableau is a very you know rare case very few get will get opportunity to integrate python and tableau but uh, what i would like you to do is at least tell them how you will integrate okay at least tell them how we can establish a relationship uh, uh with the tableau or any external so for that what we can do is we can go here so again i'm showing you uh go to sheet suppose i want to connect to uh, our language here okay so i have already installed or on my machine okay so we just need to go to help here 
under settings and performance here we have uh, an option called as manage analytics and external extension connection just click on this and here you see automatically that port number is there and if you click on this test connection it will automatically establish the relationship with that because currently you know i have not established or initiated any of my r language it is not working otherwise it will definitely work r serve is the package here that is mostly i'm still just calling so it is not there we need to i think install this install dot packages and, and i'm calling r serve crp <clears throat> so once we like there are certain steps which will invoke this package so r serve is a package which will technically uh which is required to you know make connection with your tableau so once this is this get activated okay i was just calling our server here so i am not remembering the exact uh, this thing but once it is done it will automatically establish so once you click on test connection you will get uh, the activation symbol and that is how you can establish uh, the connection with r so this is at your desktop level so once you go to server level you might also need to set up there okay so you can uh, maybe we can get in touch with our admin to set up this so once it is done we can use this at the server level also so same likewise we also need to uh, do it for python also and what all what else we need to talk about in integration is the functions that are supported for this okay so if these are the four functions that are supported script boolean script integer script real and script str okay so many might be hearing this for the first time now whenever we are trying to communicate with any external uh things like say python and integrate these are the four functions that are given by tableau to help if and based on the output your calculation is returning you have to use among them like say your calculation is returning boolean value then script boolean we need to use if your calculation is returning script integer then we need to use a script int likewise if it is ret returning string value you need to use script str function like that okay so we can talk about this four functions if at all he is stressing more or else you can talk about how we can establish relationship by going to help under settings and performance manage analytics and extension so from here we can configure at least you can talk about that in this step okay i hope that was helpful now next is four and five I, i'm leaving up to you guys let's say because we have already discussed in many videos what kind of complex chart you have used okay and tell me the challenging scenario you have worked on in your organization okay complex chart maybe you can talk what is not there in show me other than this whatever the custom charts you have created you can talk about that as a complex uh, chart okay so challenging scenarios you can talk about how you have used lods or you can talk about the design principles or the functionalities of tableau that user wanted you to implement those all comes under this okay so next is what is action in tableau again to interact one sheet with another sheet we can you know create actions in tableau and if i go to dashboard here okay and uh, click on this actions add actions so these are the different types of actions available in tableau so you can talk about all of these actions each action and the purpose of that okay in this question now next is page shelf again like very basic question and what are different mark types in tableau okay so if i go to this thing here these are my marks so by default i've got five but i think you know we will have if i click on shape we'll get shape like that okay so you can talk about these different mark types of color label size detail tooltip and shape 
so we can talk about the behavior of that and why and in which scenarios we will use each of this mark type okay so what is city and can it be used in tableau city means suppose if your query is starting with with the class so yes we cities can be used in tableau okay but there are many uh, what you call limitations with respect to what is the data source that you are using uh, based on that you know many things will depend on that so be very specific you know because if you are using you also need to remember it with respect to uh, the data source that you are using whether it is compatible or not okay so what i'll do is i'll paste a link of this maybe you can go through this and read it in detail okay uh, next is again what is left to join one of our you know very uh, basic questions that we know okay so again uh, just try to write a, a join here maybe a sql and the purpose of that how do you connect it to sql in tableau again just to catch you that you know if you are real time guy or not this this was the question that was framed okay so just go to uh, tableau here maybe you can click on add data source and select the data source type and click on that enter the server details and click on sign in this is the step by step process that you need to tell in this step or in this question okay so if you don't same like just remember the uh, same process how we do it for a file only difference is here instead of talking about files you will tell you i have i want to connect it to data source type and you can select whatever teradata and i'll enter my details server details and i'll click on sign in and i will use custom sql like that whatever you feel comfortable you can talk about that in this next is how to restrict the user in tableau now there are multiple ways that we have seen okay so maybe you can we can use a user filter if there are limited field uh, or database approach or at server level we can do so we have seen different approaches maybe i'll i'll paste that link you can talk about all of that in this question so this is an, an important question technically because from real time perspective also it is very important for us to understand how we provide security to the data okay so just go to that video again and there is very high probability that you might also implement in real time so just you know learn this very thoroughly and in this uh, what is important is i mean i felt is like say this first initial and custom sql are important because it is new just learn about that it will help you a lot okay and and then in this third question is also very important just how do we integrate with third uh, uh, python okay so four and five we have come across these questions earlier also that is okay and then this question we should definitely know okay because as a tableau developer we are projecting and if you don't know this then you know it is a definitely no from the interviewer for you he will definitely reject because this is one of the very basic questions and if you are not answering he will clearly know that this guy is not genuine so how to restrict the user we have talked about this in a detailed manner you can see and you know talk about that in detail how to publish a dashboard again many get confused in this okay so please don't get confused this is also a very important question because as a tableau developer we will also be publishing reports to the server so we should know how we will do it so just when your report is ready or when your dashboard is ready click on this server and first step you need to do is sign into the server just click on this you will get this server so here you need to paste the server link okay so that will be given to you by by your existing teammates or maybe you can check with your team lead whoever is handling and get those details and click on connect so suppose if i click on tableau online and when you click on that link it will ask you to enter your username and password okay so once you enter that like with that you will get once you enter that it will take you to the server that you have access and then it will start publishing maybe in a, in my server playlist i have shown you that you can watch that so like that you can connect to multiple servers here and then you can publish to any site you want 
So same way you can also save your work to Tableau public also. So just remember these two things when it comes to you know, publishing workbook. Publishing to your server means signing and publishing to Tableau public means just click on server and there is clearly an option called as Tableau public. Maybe you can click directly uh, select options from these two save to Tableau public or save to Tableau public as and you can save the work. But only difference just remember that you your data source is of extract whenever you are saving the work to Tableau public. So live connection will not work. That is about publishing dashboard, REST APIs and Power BI. So Power BI, I'm just ignoring. REST APIs are you not know, technically used to access your database, uh, Tableau server, you know, your Tableau cloud and you know, manage it that. So that is the application, uh, no, that is the API that will help you in all of that. So in managing all of that, okay. So I think that's it from my side in this video. I hope this video was useful. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, have a good day and bye-bye.